Yes. This music's creepy. It, it, it is kind of creepy. You like this kind of music, don't you? Actually, I'm not a fan at all. But it makes me nervous because I was in the back earlier talking to some of the wrestlers, trying to get a feel of what they were going through before the match started tonight. And I got to tell you, this disturbed Jamie and Dragon. That is the perfect nickname for this guy. He is sick. He is twisted. He is deranged. I mean, look at his outfit. He looks like something out of a Clockwork Orange. Absolutely. Either that or the new Willy Wonka. He is creepy. Keep him away from me. I'm glad I'm up here in this booth helping you announce this great show. What was that? That What just came out of his mouth? I don't know, fans, what that was, but I got to tell you, regardless of what he looks like, regardless of how he acts, you cannot take away from the in-ring ability of one disturbed Damian Dragon. The guy is an accomplished wrestler, himself a former two-time NYWC light heavyweight champion. His credentials speak for themselves, and you know, a very interesting fact, everyone in this ring, Damian Dragon has feuded with one way or another. So he knows each and every one of these guys in one way or another, I just said that. It, I just said it an, twice. It's gotta be a plus for Damian Dragon going into that round robin tourney next month for the PWF Jersey State title. Yeah, a very, very prestigious title. What are they doing? What are they planning over there? Well, it looks like Damian Dragon's going over some kind of game plan. Kind of like when we were kids and used to play football and draw plays in the sand. They were playing footsies? Were they playing footsies? I didn't say that. I don't know what they were doing. I wouldn't be surprised with Pinky Sanchez. Uh, I'll give you that one. Looks like Pinky Sanchez is going to start out now with Bandito Jr. Team Dragon does seem very working together as his crowd is getting behind him. Let's go, Mama Loops. I'm not trying to be biased. I'm just saying I like Mama Loops. Uh, there's Bandito. Bandito and Sanchez are in the ring. Collar double tie up. Bandito takes Sanchez back to the corner. Oh, now, oh, they're in the Mama Luke's corner. Here we go. You gotta be careful. Watch the corners you get into there. Oh, oh now they're in the, the dragon's lair, as I call it. You like that? Yeah. That's the last one. You'll get a big head. Beautiful arm ringers. They're going back and forth. The dash is moving so fast. Wow. I can hardly call it. You know where it is. Pinky's so lubed up and slippery. Bandito had no problem reversing it. Will you get your mind out of the gutter, Lorenzo, and the Benzo? Here we go, another Colin Noble tie up. Go behind. Very nice. Looks like Sanchez trying to go behind. Nice drop down pull hold. What's he going for here? Watch him, ref. Nice reverse by Bandito Jr. Oh! Great takedown. Sanchez tries to work to his feet, does, got a hammer lock. Reversal by Bandito Jr. What's he going for? Whoa, cartwheel, arm ringer. Full Nelson, and a kick to the stomach. Irish whip. Here he goes. No way. Into an arm drag. And an arm drag. Oh. Oh, they both went for the same move. Again. Whoa, whoa. And it, it seems like the fans approve of this. This is the action that we were telling you about, fans. This is what you plan to see here in PWF New Jersey. Absolutely. Did Daddy Bandito teach Bandito Jr. that little... I'm sure he had that a little Mexican lucha dance there. I don't know if he's Mexican, but I'm sure he did have a large. Come on, Bandito Jr. Oh, here he is, Dan Barry, my favorite and your favorite wrestler. I, I do like this guy, Dan Barry. The Irish car bomb, what a move. I hope we see it tonight. Fantastic move. Stops on the feet of the PWF Mayhem Junior Heavyweight Champion. That was, that was a very, sci sci yeah, very scientific move, that stomp on the foot. Dan Barry now applying the pressure. Shoulders are down. Oh, no, they're not. No, they're not. Freeze on top of that one. Another arm. Yeah, absolutely. What's this? Masters. Reversal by Masters. Nice. Oh. Barry went for a little shortcut there. Grabbed the hair. What do you? I didn't see anyone grab no hair. That was a very technical move. Uh, In fact, I think he invented it. Did, did you nothing technical about that. What? Straight right hand to the face. It was an open fist. Barry with an Irish whip. Sends Masters in. Nice that was so. nice. Oh! And, he and there he is. Mr. Mama Luke himself. Here he goes. Oh, no. He walks right into a hip toss. Come on, Mama Luke. And to a drop kick. That was nice. A nice arm drag. And he holds him down. Masters with that nice deep arm drag, reminiscent of one Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. I'm very surprised. How did he get Mama Luke like that? He must have pulled his hair or something. Well, it's a long flight from Italy. Maybe he's got jet lag. 
Masters now applying pressure on the armbar. The ref is asking, do you give up? Masters brings Mamluk to the corner, makes the tag to Damian Dragon. First time we've seen Dragon in this matchup. Nice double axe handle. Dragon now grabs the headlock. Nice side headlock. I think it's under the chin. I think he's trying to choke him. Oh. Wow. Nice deep, deep arm drag. Wow. Beautiful. I'll give it up. These guys, they know what they're doing. You hear Dragon saying that's the basics and fans, that's what you're going to see here. Absolutely. The birth of professional wrestling. Bring it back to a sport. Bring psychology back into the sport. I love it. I love it. I love him. I love him. Now Mama Luke trying to work out. Does with a hammerlock. Yo, to Tony Mama Luke is a great scientific wrestler. This man is great at submissions. No Don't let size fool you. He's awesome. There you see Mama Luke using his ring savvy, hooking the top. Absolutely. To push off the dragon. Nice. Check the shoulders, ref. Check the shoulders. And this crowd has shown their appreciation for Tony Mama Luke. And what a match to kick off PWF, New Jersey. That's right, this is Conception, folks. The premier show for the Premier Wrestling Federation of New Jersey. What's he going for here? Oh, some type of dragon. He put dragon in a dragon sleeper. <laughs> What's well, this? Wheelbarrow. He's going for a belly to back here. Lands on his feet. Brings him in. Dragon holds on. Ducks. He's going for the same. No way. Roll up, beautiful. This ref is counting really fast. Oh, schoolboy. Another kick out from Mama Luke. These guys. What's this? Some type of. Yeah. Count one, two. Only. That was as close as three can be. I'm tired from watching that. I am tired from watching that. I tell you, fans, I'm having trouble spitting out the play by play as this action's moving so fast. They are fast. I respect you, man. And Dragon. And that's what Dragon's about now. Very respectful. It's great wrestling. Oh! <laughs> Where was there a cheap shot? Dragon to the outside. Now this is dangerous territory for Dragons, you can see. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is what wrestling's really about. Get him when the ref's not looking. I love it. Yeah, Dan Barry. Full advantage of the referee's back turn. Referee's trying to get Pinky Sanchez and Pat Masters back out. They're obviously protesting Dragon getting double teamed. What are you side. talking about double teamed? If anything, it was a triple team. <laughs> Dragon's in trouble. This is over. Dragon's done. The Mama Lutes are horrific. Tagging in Barry. There seems to be some sort of confusion on the team. See, That's Bandito needs to get his head in the right place. Barry tags in Bandito again. You no, know, I don't think Bandito deserves to be a Mama Luke. Oh, that gave enough Dragon enough time to rest. Absolutely. He hits him with a vicious clothesline. Pete Masters, here's comes. Here's the hot tag to Pat Masters. Wow. Just like Larry. Drop to Wow. What's he going for? Whoa! Oh, he landed right on the ankle of Tony Mama Luke. Mama Luke's ankle could be hurt. Wow. Nice the giddy. That was Insiguri in Japanese. Oh, okay, thanks. Yeah, also known as the Ghetto Blaster. Call it what you will. What's this band? Like there's some dissension. What is his problem? On Team Mama Luke, Bandito Jr. and I wouldn't and even been arguing on the outside. You know, I wouldn't even consider him a member of Team Mama Luke. He's he's ungrateful and he thinks his daddy's gonna get him everything in his business. Well, he's wrong. And there's a tag to Pinky Sanchez. What you gotta remember, Idol, is all these men are gonna be opponents. There's no teams next to Oh my Wait. god, did you see that? What a, what a cheater! Cheater, who had a cheat? Oh, shiny, what do you, what do you call that? The shiny honey? He called it the shiny honey. Oh my god. Sanchez sent over the top. Very good. Block. What? What do you call that? Something out of the three stooges. Wow, Leo! Unbelievable! Oh, Top rope by Pinky Sanchez. Last time I was robbed like that, the man was wearing a mask. What do you call something like that? I don't even know what to call it. Yes. Now. Oh, nice. See? The face, and that's where inexperience stinks. I, Dan Barry is a ving ring veteran. He certainly is. He's a vicious athlete. He knows yeah. once he's got his man down, to work him over and not let him up. That's right. Pinky Sanchez needs to stop turning a blind eye and start paying attention to the match at hand. He's, he's clapping. He's trying to get these fans. That, and now look at him. Look at him. He just got an elbow on the face. It's over. It's over. This ref is counting really slow, and I'm really getting tired. 
He's calling it right down the middle. I know. There, there he is. Malut back in. What a great opening contest. Did, absolutely. Did you hear what he just said? It's time to go to school. Mr. Mamalut said that. Say Mr. Mamalut. Go ahead, say it. Mr. Mamalut. Absolutely. Yeah, here it comes. He's got the arm. Oh, that's called that's oh. called a key lock, and there's no way you're escaping that. He's see. gonna break his arm he's right now. He's gonna tap. He's trying to make it to the ropes. Break his arm. He does make it to the ropes. Good Thank things. God the ref did not see that. Good, good thing Sanchez knew where he was. What are we gonna see here? Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Really back suplex on that. Ah. <laughs> Sanchez's arm is really hurt right now. What is and Bandito? Yeah, the referee is distracted by Dragon and Masters, allowing Mama Luke to work over the shoulder and elbow of Pinky Sanchez. Lorenzo, will you look at this? What's Bandito's problem? I, I don't know. <laughs> I think that's a tag. That is a tag where I come from. You just got to show respect. There. He said, Ungats. Show respect in Italy. He said, Ungats. I don't know. I don't speak whatever it is, Italian. See, now Bandito is capitalizing on an opportunity. Absolutely, and that's a smart thing to do. Take one body part that's hurt and continue to work on it. He's going to break his arm. He's going to break his arm right here. Could be. What are these fans doing? Fans now getting behind Pinky Sanchez. He's obviously hurt. Oh! Oh! Wow, we! This is an easy W, and I'm not Joey Styles. But oh my God. That's over. Count two. Uh, I thought that was it. Kick out at two and three quarters there by Pinky Sanchez. Oh, vicious shot to the back. And there he goes to the top rope. Come on, Ref. Bandito Jr. now to the top rope. What's he going for? Wow. What a splash. The Bandito Bomb, he calls that. Is that what he calls that? Yeah. Bandito Bomb. You heard it from my tag team and partner here. Idol, cover two. If anyone knows about bombs, what are these fans saying? If anyone knows about bombs, it's Dan Barry with the Irish car bomb. <laughs> yeah, I like him. Dan Barry seems sure of himself. No one is. What's he going for? Oh my God! What a are you kidding me? Tornado DDT. Sanchez now needs to make the tag. He's got to get out of this matchup. What do the fans see in Pinky Sanchez? It's Barry makes the tag to Mama Luke. That was a double tag. Dragon. And Pat Masters, down to the camp of Bandito. There's action all over the room. Come on, ref. This is chaos and disorder if I've ever seen it. He does need to restore his order. Huge. Oh, he better hold him. Now double Irish what? whip. Come on, Bandito one, Jr. two, three, four. And he gets a double back. Oh, my Jr. goodness. The referee has lost all order in this match. What's he said? Damien Dragon out of the top row. Wow. Oh. Oh, he hurt himself there. That's good. Where's Mama Luke? Mama Luke's on the outside. So is Bandito Jr. Right. Pat Masters now looks to capitalize. What's he going for here? Suicide dive. And that might have caused That was a high-risk maneuver if I've ever seen one. To say the least. These athletes really putting their bodies on the line. Here goes What's Dan Barry going for here? What's he going for? Dan Barry now working up. Oh. Wow! Dan Barry with a twisting moose all over the top rope. Taking out both Bandito and Pat Masters. Did you see that? Unbelievable. Absolutely, truly unbelievable. What is now, he doing? Is he crazy? Oh my gosh. Pinky Sanchez with a senton over the top rope. Taking out all three competitors. It looks like Damon Dragon's now made it to his feet. Oh no. It's certainly behind him. Oh no. Oh no. Feet. Yeah. Mamaluke. There he is, Mr. Mamaluke. What's Ma Mamaluke going to the top now? What's he going for? Oh! Mamaluke with a flip off the top ropes to the floor, taking out all four competitors. Dragon now back up to his feet, the only man left in the What's ring. Come on, ref, get some order here. Get him out of the ring. Dragon looking to capitalize now. Oh, what is he not? Second rope. You have to be crazy to be trying something like that. That's why he's disturbed. Yeah, all the years I've been wrestling, I would never do anything like that. You and me both. Then again, what's this? I'm never. Wow. Dan Barry seems to. Yes, here it comes. And he's he called for it. It's over. I love this move here. Truly a sight to be seen. 
It's oh. unbelievable. Here it comes. He's going to nail it. And the Irish power bomb is a moonsault into the I love slam. this move. They're right in front of us here at the corner, Idol. Oh! Barry with some vicious headbutts. Right in front of us. Looks like Barry had a few too many Guinness. Wow! Here it comes. There's action all over the ring. Dragon and Mama Luke are on the outside. Bandino and Masters are matched up in the corner. This and this. Barry's looking for the Irish car bomb. He's gonna get it right now. What's Pinky doing? Oh. Whips him in. Go behind by Bandito on Masters. Wow. Masters flows over. Oh no. What's this? What the? Oh my Holy! God. I don't even know what to call that, fans. What? No. Devastating maneuver. And there's what? three. You know what? It figures. It figures Bandito would ruin it for the Mama Lukes. That was somewhat of a face buster and unprettier from the top rope. Pat Masters, the PWF Mayhem Junior Heavyweight Champion on Bandito Junior to end what was an incredible six-man opening contest. Incredible? Are you blind? Bandito, you know what? That's a loss for Bandito. That's not a loss for the Mama Luke. I mean, it's totally respectful. The movie was hit with was unreal. And I'll tell you what, if the action we see in the round robin tour. Yeah, you know what? You do that to him. Oh, here's Mama Luke. Do it to him because he deserves it. Chastising Bandito for losing the match for his team. What's right. going on here? Hey, he can't do that. Vicky Sanchez now giving his approval to his opponent, Bandito, as Mama Luke and Dragon Square. Oh, up. man. Oh, man. Well, as I was alluding to uh, before, Idol, in a, in a show of appreciation from the fans, if this match, it, it, rather, if the New Jersey State Round Robin Tourney that we're going to have here next month at the PW Arena has half the action we saw in this six-man tag, the fans are in for a great treat. Absolutely.